Throw your dreams into the sky like a kite, so they bring back new opportunities, new friends, new possibilities. And on that note, I welcome my co-host for today, Diljeet, but not the Sanj, Diljeet. Thank you, Simu, for the lame introduction. Well, hello everyone, I'm Diljeet, and I have recently graduated from City University of Hong Kong, and I'd like to thank you, Small City Big Dreams, for giving me this opportunity to co-host and explore more talents of Hong Kong. So, on that note, let's take it towards our guest today. Yep. So, who are our guests soon? So, today we have two guests on the show, mm -hmm. and they happen to be very good friends. Mm -hmm. So, one of them has walked on ramps, has done modeling, and has done modeling shoots for some of the I'd say, big biggest designers. designers yeah. exactly. And second one, acting in short films, acting in general. Not only that, but he has played hockey as well. So, oh, do, you mind? do you mind? So please Everybody. welcome yeah. our two honorable guests today, Karen Gill Hi. and Inderjeet Singh. Hi. Yes. <laughs> welcome to the show, guys. So, how are you feeling today? Good? Very good. Okay, so let's start it off with Karen first. So please, Karen, tell us, how did you, how did you get into modeling in first place? Um, Actually, I started modeling ever since I was 16, mm -hmm. yeah. but it was never too serious. Mm -hmm. But then uh, two years ago, I decided to like maybe like take it a little bit far. Mm -hmm. So I actually had like a modeling page, a modeling account on Instagram, and that's mm -hmm. how I started. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And how was yours? I uh, started four four years ago, four or five years ago. Uh, this my friend who's like, let's go uh, shoot a movie. Uh, You'll get paid and all that stuff, and uh, <laughs> it happened. And our, after, uh, after ever since, it's been ongoing here and there. But now it's gotten serious now. That's nice. So when did you guys realize that this was something that you wanted to continue, like on a more serious note? So was there kind of a point or a day, or like it took you some time to realize that this is actually what you want to do, what you want to pursue? So how, what was that? It took me some time. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Like after opening up my Instagram, like it made me realize like um, girls actually, mm -hmm. you know, like they support, they mm -hmm. appreciate what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So it took me like I guess like one year mm -hmm. to like maybe I should like you know think it as a career. This could be an option. Like why not? Okay. So as you mentioned, you started off with like an Instagram account. Yeah. Did opportunities just came rolling in at that moment, or did they take time? It took time, definitely. Because okay. um, I'm a very, how to say, not active person as well, yeah. and I stuck with technology. <laughs> so it took me a while to like get jobs and actually like be in that certain circle. Yeah. So it actually like took me a long time to get okay. like more jobs and opportunities. How about you? You said you started off like, I'd say just you said you just started True off as friend. like, yeah through a friend, just a quick way to earn money? Uh, it, for me, when I got serious was uh, when I was shooting for uh, Shockwave 2, mm -hmm. that's coming out next year also. Okay. Uh, it's a police story, ICAC, it's <laughs> as usual for Hong Kong movies. Uh, <laughs> at that point when I met a few people around me, okay. and they were no different as me, and I thought, you know, they're doing something which I'm doing, and it's amazing that they are taking it serious, so why should I not? Why shouldn't I take serious? Did, did opportunity still, okay, uh, same question as her, did they just start rolling in? Or no, you have to fight for it, it's okay. not easy. Hong Kong is very competitive, there's a lot of our people mm -hmm. uh, coming into the scene, so uh -huh. it's very, very competitive. Yes. And at the same time, you need to be, need to have certain talent, uh, have to have certain uh, capabilities of what you can perform or do, like speaking Cantonese, the first thing. Uh -huh. If you don't speak Cantonese, there's a less chance that in yeah. movies you will be able to. Uh, I mean, you've done a movie. Yeah. yeah. Have you? Which yeah. one? It was called. Uh, Six A. I forgot it though. 
Um, all movies. They go Eva. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was okay. a local movie. And she did a phenomenal job, so. Reading? <laughs> <laughs> so, on a serious note, Karen, we would like to ask you that knowing the fact, being from a Punjabi family, like, mm -hmm. It's modeling something that is kind of frowned upon in our society. So, you know, this thing always comes up, like, whenever a girl is doing something out of the circle. So people go around and say, like, especially probably your family could say, like, log ki mm. So what do you think about this concept? How did you overcome this? Were there problems related to it? Like, how did you deal with that? I'm actually very lucky with that part. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad, like, they know about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. They don't really say anything. Mm -hmm. okay. Like they support it in a way, I think. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I do get like uncomfortable when I walk out, and then like people like stare. I, I mean, like maybe I feel like oh, they know me, mm -hmm. and I just get a little bit like, okay. I'm getting uncomfortable, so that kind of thing happens, and I do get like you know negative messages saying like you know what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't yeah, be like you know flashing out too much mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I really don't care because. It's time to change. It's like it's <laughs> like we should move forward instead of like you know move backwards. backwards. Yes. So you have broken a lot of stereotypes for the Indian girls out there, especially for the women of color. Mm -hmm. Since we haven't seen a lot of shows you have done, so please tell us more about your Manish Malhotra. That was the biggest deal, right? So you know the hype. Yeah, sort of. Like um, I got really lucky, mm -hmm. as I can say again. I got approached by one of the um, girl who was actually hosting it and. I was part of it. I had a good experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. I enjoyed it. And there, his dresses were lovely, so yeah, that's great. He looked beautiful. Right? Thank you. Uh, same note with you. Like, she got her break with Manish Malhotra, and I think I remember you seeing you in like a Donnie Yen movie, right? Big Brother. Yeah, Big Brother. Was that your big break, or? My big break was the first time I went to a set already. I met, <laughs> I met so many big actors. I saw so many big celebrities. I was like in a awe for two, three days because okay. I was I was going there for three consecutive days. And I would see all the big actors and they're standing in front of me. I was not believing. I was 18 back then. Okay. And I saw uh, Sai Gangnam Style. <laughs> he was there as well in that specific scene. So when I saw that thing happening, I was like, what? am I doing here? <laughs> and uh, since then, that was I think that was a big break. Okay. But I didn't work for two to three years consecutively. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any job in uh, acting line or in what I wanted to do. Uh, until I got approached by uh, one of the agencies from Hong Kong. They were like, we are doing a uh, Hong Kong 20th anniversary commercial. Mm -hmm. And I went for it. I, I went through casting twice. I got selected out of 20 to 30 people and I had one second scene um, coming on Hong Kong advertisement every day 100 times a day would show up my, my grandparents they loved it me seeing me on TV and my friends saw me on uh, TV as well in K11 that that <laughs> ad that advertisement uh, was shown so much and other people started approaching me because of that how so, did two people on like such a last spectrum one model one acting how did you two like come together how did you Guys, oh, we used to work together. <laughs> yes. Yeah, in trampoline okay. park. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fun. Okay, trampoline led to this day. So all, let's just thank trampoline park for today. So <laughs> thank, you, <Raj. laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So Dojit, now we're moving to the actual interesting bit of this show. It's called the rapid fire. Mm -hmm. And to the guest, rapid fire. We'll just be asking you numerous questions. And you have to answer as I say, quick as possible. And make it fiery as possible. <laughs> exactly. And no one word answers, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you say something good, we want a good explanation for it. And, and we get a good price oh, for yeah. that as well. Okay. There's a yes. basic price. Okay. There's a basic price. However, there's a big price as well. So we'll be reviewing and our reviewers will be reviewing each of the rapid fire, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys get to win that gift you'll be going to macau for two days one night in a five-star hotel so with that now i'll say take it serious now and let's begin our rapid fire so the first question is do you guys like to cook if yes then what do you like to make i love it uh, i like to make lasagna mm -hmm. okay. i like to make uh, pasta once okay. in a month <laughs> 
very, very, very frequent, frequent yeah, work. I must say. Yeah. So, what would your perfect uh, day be like? And like, leaving out coming to small city big rooms. Perfect day. Yeah. Uh, by the pool, swimming, playing PS4. Um, me just chilling or <laughs> doing nothing. Me too, just sitting. Gaming, right? OCD. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, the next question. So your best comedian movie, the most, the one that you like the most? Fir 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 so the next question is, when you see a person, when you meet them for the first time, so what is the first thing that you notice them do? For me, the face. Because I sort of just guess the personality looking at the face first. So for me, it's the face. I uh, go for the hair or weird, weird uh, thing you see first. Hair, face, and shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So next question. This is a bit tricky. So. If you had to describe your teenage self, three words, what would it be? Example, I'd, I'd say I'm like a young hot mess. Mm, so, okay. <laughs> so, what would it be for you? Fucking need and help. Okay. Uh, a lot of energy, uh, bad decisions. Uh, Yo, that's more than three words. A lot of energy. A lot of, yeah, yeah. Three, a lot of energy, basically, yeah. <laughs> okay, you so still next. a lot of energy. <laughs> Either way, yeah. So next, so if you could have lunch with one person, and it could be any person, dead or alive, who would you choose? Rihanna. Nothing. Virat Kohli. Interesting. So, what is your guilty pleasure? Like, if I gave you an example, uh, I eat a lot. I know the weight scale is moving to the right, but then I'm like, oh, going up. <laughs> so we, we can work out. <laughs> that would be covered. Um, for me, is staying home, drinking. And okay. Yeah, just Netflix, and watching shows. Uh, eating non-stop. No stop to it. You're on my page, thank you. Uh. <laughs> on the note of food, so if you could eat only one type of food mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, what would you eat? No uh, more. I had this uh, crazy, amazing dish in uh, street food in India. Mm -hmm. It's uh, okay. bread, egg, bread, chicken. Vegetables and a lot of sauce. I had that, it was great, so I would eat Mouth that. Watering. Yes. Okay, next question. Your favorite or bucket list travel destination? Greece. Greece. Okay. Amalfi it, it, in Italy. Okay. I'll change it this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever win a huge lottery and you gain a lot of money out of it, so what would be the first thing that you do? Except sponsoring of a show. We already know yeah. you're doing that. Um, besides that. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, buy a lot of properties. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing I would do. Buy my dream car first <laughs> and then think about other things. Okay. If you had to compare yourself with one fictional character, what would it be? Black Panther. Black Panther. Okay. Thor. Thor. <laughs> do you want me to reason that? Yes, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question. So, what is your biggest pet peeve on set? Stinky costumes? Oh, awesome. anything you like what? Dirty makeup version? I hate when they have stinky hands and they're doing my makeup. Oh. Especially cigarette hands. You can smell I've, it. Yes, because I've experienced that and it's awful. Pet peeve, uh, not noticing when you need help. Because mm -hmm. on set, there's so much stuff going on and you are there, you need some help and people not helping you. Like, what do I do? Would you be an ugly genius? Or a hot moron. I'm like a hot genius, but <laughs> <laughs> so ugly genius or a hot moron? Hot moron. Okay. I'll go with you. <laughs> I think I would have to be ugly genius. Because okay. I don't really have a brain. I need that. Let's move on to the last question. So please name a person that will never pick up your phone. Ever. My sister, Roman. My friend Bupinder. <laughs> He never picked up. Okay. Very good answers. And we actually do need time to discuss about the winner. 
because the answers I like there were some answers that were amazing by Ender. There are some answers that were very good by Kevin as well. So please just give us a moment to think about it all and we shall present you with the gift. So Dochi, that was an amazing rapid fire section. Yeah, it was. Yeah. The answers were amazing. It's very no, hard. No. Mm -hmm. Very hard to decide a winner. But we have a winner and the winner is Inderji. <laughs> so let's move on to our next topic on a more serious note. We would like to know what are your future projects? Um, there's nothing much going on right now. Uh -huh. uh, uh, recently I've been signed by an, an agency in the UK and the agency is called the Bookings Model. So yeah, maybe I will have more opportunities over there. How are you in there? So yeah, uh, I've got nothing really lined up coming up, but I've got a short movie that's being uh, premiered tomorrow, 9th June, is it 9th? Yeah, 9th June tomorrow. And it'll be out uh, on other dates as well, on 15th and 19th of June. So you guys can go to my Instagram and check the details over there. It's called I Come Empty Handed, yeah. Is it a free public screening? Like, uh, I mean, is public allowed to enter? Or watch. You gotta pay for the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you can uh, go on the uh, website over there. It's everything. Everything's listed out. What, what time are the shows and all this stuff? Yeah. So to our viewers, if you have the time and you would like to see local talent, like Ender, uh, him on the big screen, please go ahead and support him. Go for his screening. Yes, and it's a, a great movie. It's a yeah. true event. It happened. Not everything is true, but uh, part of it is pretty much true. So it would be great uh, knowing someone's uh, career in that movie. And Inder, I remember seeing you on the hockey field, yeah? You played hockey, and I think you are still playing hockey. So uh, when did you decide to switch from hockey to acting? Or were you, uh, are you still doing both things at the same time? Still doing both things at the same time. Okay. Uh, playing hockey and uh, doing movies <laughs> part-time. So both are part-time, actually. Okay. Uh, but I've been playing for over 12 years, so it's a hobby. Besides that, you also had a big project back a few months ago, mm -hmm. and it was with the Harper Bazaar, right? So can you please tell us more about that? Um, sure. So I think I got lucky as well. Mm -hmm. Like um, the community in, like for modeling, they started to know me, and I was actually referenced to the uh, Harper Bazaar India team. And I had two days experience of being a proper professional model, which I enjoyed it. Because I was running around in Macau with um, exaggerated gowns and everything. <laughs> and yeah, like short breaks for lunch and everything. Waking up at 3 a.m., getting ready for the shoot. So it was a really good experience. How was the climbing up on the Eiffel Tower thing? <laughs> well, that was not fun. I was <laughs> dying. <laughs> it looked very tough, though. Yeah, it was. Pretty strong, right? Okay, on that note, Thank you for coming today. It was an amazing episode. And for the viewers as well, the word of today is not. not. N O T, not. So I'd say this is the end of. And it's time to say yeah. goodbye. Thank you for turning into Small City Big Dreams. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to see and support more local talent like us, uh, follow and click the link below to yeah. follow us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.